So Jatin, welcome to Bollywood Life. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. This is your first time with us, right? Yes, exactly. All right, that. So let's make it good. So welcome to Bollywood Life once again. The look is amazing, by the way. I like that look. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> just the, you know, just because of this Corona thing, so I'm like not able to cut my hair. So I'm just keeping them the way they are. So I think that that's how because they. The, the life of ours has got messy, and these are also getting messy. It's kind of salt and pepper thingy, right? It's looking good. Yes, it is. <laughs> Indeed, yes. All right, but do you remember that we have met before at a friend's place? Do you remember exactly. that? Exactly. Remember, right? Yes, yes, sir. I do, I do, I do, I do. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the good news is that Bumpar is already uh, uh, is already out there now. Uh, tell me about your experience because I've heard some news out there that you were not as happy as with the movie because your role was. Uh, cut short. The screen time was less. Is that true? Yes, because uh, initially when I joined the film, uh, when uh, Taran Bajaj, the casting director, you know, approached me for the character, so I straightforwardly said no to him because I didn't want it to, you know, do these friends character. So I don't want to fall into that zone where you are just supporting the main lead and you becoming friend of there yeah. and just being shown in a bit and bits and pieces in the movie. But then he, he then he kind of insisted me and he said you just meet uh, Ranjan Chandel once he'll narrate you the script it's not that he is just a friend he has his own love story in the film for which he is actually fighting and how he lends everybody in the problem just because of that so it sounded very interesting to me I said I I want to do that that stuff so I met uh, Ranjan Chandel and he narrated me the whole thing and Hanzala Shahid also the writer he said this character is somewhat very different from what you are you know. expecting it to be it's like a game changer just because of his things the whole you know film is revolving around this one particular incident which he you know uh, uses or he which it does desired the character so i liked the script and i i said yes and we started the shooting and at the end when everything you know went good the film duration came out 2 hours or 5 minutes or something So initially we were planning to release it on in in cinema hall, but just because of this corona thing, it got shelved. So yeah. I think maybe producers thought that it'll you know it'll take long to just you know wait for this to get over, and then when will these uh, cinema halls will open, and when we'll release it, or you know who'll take it. So they decided to approach Z uh, the platform, and Z has this thing that. they only take films which they say that it's our original they uh, they prefer the timing it has to be like in between 1 hour 40 minutes okay so, so already like you know 15 15 20 minutes they cut short it because of that thing okay and the whole film because initially there was only one scene which they said to me that it was edited in the film but then right. when i saw the film when it came out i was shocked to see that there were many scenes of mine which are not there in the movie so i felt bad i said i thought that i mean i don't know what to do about this but this has given me an experience that i'll choose my project more wisely now and i'll not trust like this because uh, the, if your trust gets broken you know you feel hurt but i'm happy whatever has been done with the film film is doing good it's on ott platforms it's going it's doing good people are appreciating my role but they were expecting more uh, of me and i was expect, expecting more of me but it got edited so this is how it is to all right but, but tell me i'm okay now but tell me what is does to an actor when such thing happens you know what what happens to an act, actor's mind uh, do you feel betrayed do you feel like uh, you had given your 110% then also the outcome is not that great what it does to an actor like this when such thing happens you know uh, when i was studying in my school days i was not very good student so i knew that whatever marks i will you know get from my examination after my examination this is what i have you know prepared for if i got 33% mark i knew that i have prepared for 30 marks but it's just the three uh, the, the 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 grace which i think teacher might have given me of that three number but when it comes to films and things like this which i'm passionate about i give my 110% more than that and if then this sort of thing happens it really you know breaks you up it it tells you or it shows you your position that till now you don't hold that power 
that you can you know that you can't fight to the people that i've done to me so yes i feel betrayed but i would say because i knew it i knew the fact because if they're going to release it on the ott pl- platform with that particular you know section of duration of 140 one or 40 minutes so i i felt that it's okay now because i am just a small part of the film because the producer who has invested the financiers the director everybody you know they invested their time and money so it's matter of that so if they you know if they sold it to or whatever uh, uh, the thing is with their the, the z z people i don't know but i i think it's i'm happy because the film is out people actually they can see it but yes that it, it has given me this sense that okay now i have to be more uh, you know uh, i have to think about me that what kind of projects i have to do and how people are taking me i mean are they taking me serious or they just you know just filling up their uh, bouquet of flowers that's it and because people have seen you in a very famous role as bunty you know and you were doing this love story just to get out of that zone and you exactly. know to uh, something new you're saying right that was exactly. a thing All right, but the, on the good news, you're doing 83, so we're gonna see you in a very completely different role in that. So let let's yes. talk about that. Okay, tell me about the experience of being a member of such an ensemble cast. You know, having so many experienced guys and such talented people around you. What it does to an actor like you? Tell me. I think 83 was just a surprise for me. I in never in my imagination thought about it. I never thought that you know I will be playing a cricketer in the movie. I loved cricket very much. I wanted to be a cricketer, but uh, somehow, you know, things does not uh, that doesn't that doesn't happen. So I left that thing, and uh, after Sacred Game when it got released, I was uh, at Mukesh Chawla's office, and I saw these uh, you know lineup of uh, the pictures of every uh, cricketer of Indian cricket team. So I asked Ballu is one of his assistant. I asked him that, what are you doing, man? So he said that 83 uh, uh, Kavir Khan is making 83, and we are looking for uh, you know actors who can resemble these uh, cricketers. So I said I want to do that, man. If you want to try me, I can do that. So I took some pictures of mine, and then I got a call one day, one day. and I I went to Mukesh Chawla's office, and they said that you have to you know prepare one uh, bowling. Uh, you have to make a video of you bowling in a Madan Lal. They were they were they were. Uh, approaching me for madan lal's character uh, the bowler the fast bowler so i did i i made my video of that and uh, my friend did a very good job on that he made a very nice video giving that effect of you know exactly 1940 okay. uh, yeah, sorry 1983 ka world cup wala effect so we uh, we sent that uh, video to chawla ji and he liked it very much and he called me up and he said ke dialogue baji wala bhi kuch karke dikhana so i prepared one monologue of madan lal ji which he did uh, when they were launching the 83 thing but somehow it didn't happen so they they casted uh, hardy sandhu for that but then i was uh, and i was also out out of it i thought that okay nahi hoga meri kismat mein so i was like you know doing my other thing uh, other things then one day they they, uh, they called me again they called me that they want to you know uh, test me for yashpal sharma but they want to just see me batting that's it they don't want anything So I okay. said, yeah, I don't have time, and I don't want to do this now. I thought because because they 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 were saying that they are casting known people. So I thought that now this one character is left. They are they they're looking for me, and I don't want to do if it does not hold any specific space in the square. Right. So, but after after they insisted too much, I gave them uh, the audition of my batting, and they uh, Mukesh Chawla called me up and he said that Tera ho gaya. You okay in, you are in and i said but mai ek bar pad leta script and it's something of that sort then uh, they said okay tu kya tu script pad sakta hai ya fir you can meet uh, kabir khan so i said i just want to read the script first then i'll meet uh, kabir sir i went to his office i read the script and i liked it very much and i liked uh, the part of yashwal sharma very much i thought okay so this is it i mean when you are surrounded and you are you know part of 14 15 actors who holds their space in every match in the film and you have a very good role and you have very good space where you can play out where you can do whatever you want to so i said this is it i want to do this and i straight forwardly said uh, kabir sir said are you interested maine kaha ha sir main kar raha hu i want to do this 
so this is how it happened and then we started uh, the practice session in juhu and uh, it took like four month five month to you know actually uh, copy that stance and the batting style of yashpal sharma and mm-hmm. he was a very good uh, fielder also so i have to work you know on two things uh, my fielding and uh, batting so this is how it happened and then mm-hmm. uh, we went to london for the shoot and had a great time i mean i never thought in my life that i will go to lords to oval to turnbridge well and you know to be part of this ex- historical event 1983 the world cup right. changed the course of india the it has given a new you know newness to the country that confidence to the whole nation right so yes i think it was history at that time and now whenever this film will release it will be history this time you know yeah. standing in the same balcony where they used to they 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 hold it that trophy standing there and holding the same trophy it was like experience yeah one in a lifetime experience i hope so there are so many actors in it one of them is ranveer you know the highly energetic guy in that you had a chance to have interaction with him share screen space with him tell me how's the energy like on the set a lot actually a lot we we were like both uh, you know because we are both passionate i mean the thing we've related to with each other i think is like passion towards our work passion towards acting so we had a very you know very different relationship <laughs> uh we used to like pull leg of each other and you know banter and this and that so he is always like this ke isse panga lena hi lena and he used to say ke agar isse subah ke panga nahi lu to mere ko maza nahi aata okay aur main aise hota tha because i i was like ke yaar ye aayega ab ye kuch panga karega and mera mental space hila dega because you know main thoda bada concentrate karke aise jaane wala actor hu but then i realized ke he is like you know he is fun to work with actually he is fun to work with he is an amazing person full of knowledge mm. and you know he respect your work he respect you and everyone he loved everyone and i i shared a special bond with him and uh, and everyone everyone from the squad i mean be it saket be it uh, nishant be it uh, sahil be it ami hardy chirag everyone they are they were fantastic everyone was superb pankaj tripathi so i had a great time he, he is he is a, a lovely person yeah. i am looking forward to work more with him i think all right so uh, tell me a fond memory that you had from this you guys are already done with the shooting it was supposed to come out but it got delayed because of the corona virus do you have any fond memories that you like to share with the audience with your fans that one fond memory that you won't you will never forget memory I, i would just i would just like to share this one uh, thing that when we went to london we didn't know that like you no know, we thought like 90 days are okay 3 months that's it but when we started shooting and when like few days like 15 20 days passed away we were like are yaar kab khatam hoga ye we want okay. to go back to india i mean we want to just get over with it it's like too much but everybody has their own energy every there are there were people who were enjoying a lot ranveer was enjoying a lot ami was enjoying a lot hardy was having great time and sakib was like always you know parting this and that okay. you know moving here and there so i also started feeling that thing ke yaar enjoy karna chahiye kyun pareshan ho rahe hain kyun jaane india kyun jaane chalne jayenge enjoy karna zaruri hai to enjoy karte hain so we started taking it you know in that way ke chal yaar masti ho rahi hai and uske chalte there were many things which used to happen to ranveer kabhi kabhi you know atarange se kapde pehen ke jab wo aata tha jata tha to main because that was very initial uh, days when we met so i used to you know i used to stand and see him ke yaar ye ye kya karta hai kaise kar leta hai ye sab you know main hairan ho jata tha matlab in early in the morning sometimes it used to be like you know uh, jaise cricket world cup bhi chal raha tha to he used to go to stadium right uh, for you know for commentary or whatever right. so main subah subah you know i'm i'm in my breakfast table aur main wahan baitha hu and i'm i'm having my breakfast and main dekhta hu ek aadmi itne sare kapde pehen ke ajeeb ho gari wo speaker rehta hai uske paas ye jo tumhara aashil wala to wo leke wo chal raha hai and main aise sochta tha yaar is bande ko hua kya hai इसको हुआ क्या 
<laughs> you know, the thing that he enjoy is he enjoys that. He enjoys that. And that joy, that happiness reflects from his face, his body. Mm-hmm. So I was watching all of them and I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, you know, he has this thing that shopping karni hai usne bahut shopping karni hai matlab yahan se soch ke gaya tha jitna paisa main kama nahi raha usse zyada main shopping karke aaunga to i am an observe him carry ke mere hum jaate the saath mein to he is always like paaji ye bhi le lo ye bhi le lo ye bhi le lo and i was like yaar mere ko nahi chahiye ye kana nahi tu sir aap rakho to i was like i don't know so jeeva jaise jeeva jo south ka star hai i have very good memories of him to he what he used to do he was fond of indian cricket uh, indian uh, food to wo sara time yehi dekhta tha ki indian food kahan se milega okay to so, jiva indian food dhoondta rehta tha fir food wo ek shop dhoond liya usne finally aur fir wo sabko refer kar deta tha ki bhai yahan se jaake you you can have your food indian food if you like to and we were like we were gang of four people nishant me dhairya and dinkar so we four used to hang around a lot hang around a lot and uh, used to go for uh, shopping ंगीरखान इज डायरेक्टिंग is a such yes. a wonderful person you know a lovely person to talk to to be to to uh, be with because he's always there and he's all, all all like you know he has this boyish thing into him a young boy that mm-hmm. initially i was like pata nahi how will it be i mean how we'll share the rapport because i'm i'm kind of an actor who improvises a lot you know who who is always that what more i can give to you know this particular thing if it's a word it's a line or it's a dialogue or a monologue so i want yeah. my director to listen to me i want my director to take you know interest in me what i want to do or uh, uh, or you know add on to so he was always there so there there, there was one thing uh, i'll tell you a very funny thing so me and uh, sakib were uh, doing this scene uh, it was seen on a pitch we were playing and we had few words so उसकी दो लाइनों की मैंने चार बना दी सो टू थ्री लाइन एंड आई आई एड इट मोर टू इट एंड आपको कैसा लग रहा है to to make it more funnier yes so I went to Kabir okay. Khan and said sir ye ye kuch kiya hai. and Kabir Khan was like this ye ke tum ki filmon mein karna. Pe kiski nahi hai. and I was like oh. <laughs> 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 yaar, ye kya baat so he said ki ye Rohit Shetty ki film mein karna, ye comedy वहां चलेगी इस सीन में जरूरत नहीं है सो आई वॉज लाइक ओके सर ओके ठीक है थैंक यू सो मच सो दिस इज इट आई मीन दिस इज इट तो वैसे ही होता था दिस yeah is a musty uh, uh, we used to do uh, on sets and these are like, you know few memories i have oh wow such a great memory here yeah. such a great fun listening to you talking about because it's like a movie that's in making aur aap bahut cheeze seekh bhi rahe ho wo jagah pe right kafi logo ko dekh ke aapne cheeze seekhi aur interaction kiya right so mujhe bataiye kuch news hai ye kab aa sakti hai ya kya hone wala hai ye khatam hone ke baad hi aayega right i don't know i i don't know i mean one thing is for sure it will not be releasing on any ott platform before it releases in uh, cinema hall so we are just waiting i think uh, uh, whenever this thing will happen or this thing will you know will will we'll get over with this corona thing will definitely out with the movie because cinema halls and shooting and uh, our industry will be the last one to i think you know open or maybe mm-hmm. some, or end the sports sports uh, fraternity or sports things also So I think uh, we have to wait for it, and I don't All know right. what exactly the date is. I hope it comes out soon, yeah, Jatin. So tell me, what is the next project? Where are we seeing you next after this? What what is in pipeline right now? Uh, I'm 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 in talks with the many directors and uh, casting directors also. 
so they are coming up with series and films also so i'm reading lot of scripts nowadays uh, as per as per now i haven't signed anything 83 is only which is releasing and uh, i'm keeping my finger cross ki ye jaldi aa jaye and everything you know get settled so ye hai abhi to and i'm 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 waiting for right project because i don't want to you know do same stuff Rush again, again. again so and i also want to break that bunty wala image abhi so mm-hmm. i'm 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 looking for to do something which is which you know totally portrays me or you know present me in a very different manner or a different actor a different character all right okay so how about sacred games 3 aane wala hai ya kuch aisa kuch idea hai kya no idea but yes definitely because uh, i i can tell you about this that it will come because uh, when we went to you know sign our contracts they said that uh, there will be like three season so that is for sure that yes and i think netflix ka abhi tak ka india mein sabse best to sacred game hi hai uh, right, otherwise right. there is nothing of that sort jo bahut promising ho so i will i i i'm sure that they will definitely bring it back and you will reprise your role in that no i'm dead i'm dead i'm done in uh, you know first season second season there was like you know past story of mine and, and but you never know but that's so much it may it can happen i hope we see you in that and that's one one more time because if the season 3 is coming <laughs> maybe, maybe, but i maybe but i hope best of luck for you like 83 comes out soon and we see you shine in that and you get more good projects and we see you on screen so treat to see you, you on so screen man thank, thank you so, you so much, much for chatting with me thank you so much for giving me giving me your time i'm thank so honest you. i love it man thank you thank you, thank you.